ladies and gentlemen. The FBI is supposed to record hate crimes that go on in this country, but it shows that the data the FBI have and what they are reporting is undercounting the amount of hate crimes that are occurring in America. So when you look at the statistics, it's almost appearing that hate crime is really the same, but it's increasing every single year. And those increases are not showing in the data. You know, I'm not surprised when it comes down to numbers, nobody fudges numbers like these folks do. They are the masters of lying on numbers, cooking books, fudging statistics. This is what they do. So nobody should be shocked that the FBI is undercounting these hate crimes that are going on in America. I'm going to go ahead and play this audio from NPR. So which impression is right? Here's NPR's Sandia Dirks. Shock and disbelief. That's what Cynthia Miller Idris felt when she looked at the FBI's 2021 hate crime numbers. Miller Idris knows something about the subject. She's a professor studying violent extremism at American University. The first thing I noticed is like the numbers went down. That's not consistent with everything that we're hearing and seeing. Data coming out of cities and from advocacy groups have all been showing a continued rise in hate crimes, from anti-Semitic to anti-Black hate and anti-LGBTQ to anti-Asian hate, but not in the FBI numbers. And then I see this almost like a little side note, oh, but it's only 63% of jurisdictions reporting. Most of Florida and California didn't report. There's no data from America's three largest cities, Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago. Every city I typed in, no data there. It's not the FBI's fault that these cities fail to share hate crime data, but Miller Idris says the report shouldn't have been published at all. I think it's unconscionable to release it and to call it national data because it's insulting to victims who don't see their own experiences reflected. The FBI warned ahead of time that the 2021 hate crime data was going to be flawed. The reason has to do with data collection standards. The Bureau changed to a new system. The change didn't just happen overnight. Local law enforcement agencies have had five years of FBI training and over $100 million to prepare. The Southern Poverty Law Center's Michael Lieberman says the new standards should be a good thing, a more robust way to measure crime. And still, 7,000 agencies this year did not report any data to the FBI. Lieberman says this year compounds a long-standing problem, the underreporting and undercounting of hate crimes. Sometimes it happens because victims don't come forward. Often, communities most likely to be the targets of hate are also the folks who have the reasons not to trust police. And Lieberman says police don't always correctly label or investigate hate crimes. If you're a city like Miami and you reported zero numerous times in the last decade, you are not giving your community any faith that you are ready and willing and able to respond to hate violence. Right now, reporting hate crime numbers to the FBI is voluntary. The Southern Poverty Law Center, alongside numerous civil rights groups, are calling for hate crime reporting to be mandatory, credible, and tied to federal funding because it's about more than just the data. The big story here is that we are not reporting the plight of victims and their communities. That's Brian Levin. He runs the Center for Hate and Extremism at Cal State San Bernardino, which collects hate crime data from large police departments. He says these days there are more entryways into hate than ever before, and not just online. Because we don't have the hierarchical yet more limited hate groups that we used to see, like the Klan. Now we have a pick and choose buffet. Even in the last few weeks and months, we've seen a normalizing of hate. That's Manjusha Kulkarni with Stop AAPI Hate. Kanye West has freely made anti-Semitic remarks. Former President Trump continues to use anti-Asian rhetoric. Kulkarni says the answer isn't really about police. It's education, teaching kids about other cultures, about history and racism and bigotry. 
exactly what's under attack in many Republican-led states right now. It's precisely because awareness has been raised and because news outlets are focusing on anti-Asian hate, anti-Semitic remarks, anti-Black actions, that these forces are there to silence it. Kulkarni says accurately reporting hate crimes today is just as important as telling the truth about the history of hate. Sandhya Dirks, NPR News. Y'all, and now listen more from and in- listen. You know, one thing I had to learn over the last several years, the Southern Poverty Law Center have been adding more and more Black Hebrew what they label i don't call it this because to me we're hebrew israelites but they label it as black hebrew israelites and the nation of islam and none of those groups have gone out here to harm anybody but you got to understand it is white people with the southern poverty law center that are doing these lists no one from our community is giving any input on these lists. So you got to see it in the spirit of where it's coming from. Because let's face it, over these last centuries, they've been trying to make these false equivalences about the racism. Oh, you're just as racist. You're more racist. No, we're not. No, we're not. We don't have a history that resembles yours at all. You know, so all you can do is say it and try to talk it up, but you don't really have any proof going back centuries of where we were just as racist as you are. You you just don't have it and you never will have it. So I'm not surprised when you got the agencies that are putting together these lists based on what one group think it is. And then you got all of these agencies, these police agencies that we know are extremely racist that have to report the numbers. Do you really think they're going to tell the truth? Of course not. Of course not y'all. So, I'm not surprised that the numbers are wrong. We're learning a lot of these FBI um, statistics are just a bunch of fudged up numbers, inaccurate. Not all states are reporting it. So, you know, as long as all states are not reporting how many cops are killing us and how many are being exonerated every year. You know, those are the kind of numbers we need to see. But as long as these folks are in charge, you can best believe you are never going to see a true number up in here at all. You know, y'all know what I mean? My brothers and sisters from the 13% of the population, y'all know what I mean? (laughs) Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.